Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and welcome to the R Programming series and today we're gonna talk about empty vectors in R. So uh, in every programming languages we can create empty list, right? Empty list. If you are from Python, you would know that you can just create an empty list just like that, right? just uh, square brackets with nothing in it right but in R how we can create this and one thing I want you to know you can contact me on this whatsapp or mail me at this email address if you want help with your coursework or projects or whatever you are enrolled in okay let's uh, see how we can create an empty vector in R uh, so I can just say empty vec and the assignment operator and then I can just say using replicate uh, function which I have just uh, showed you in these tutorials uh, replicate na which is empty value or not applicable or uh, whatever you want to call this just it will be just na empty right and you can say uh, uh, five times right and just see this vector okay you got five na values right and then you can just uh, uh, remove them right uh, whenever you want to replace it with some other things let's just uh, create a, a list uh, my vector and let's store some numbers in it right uh, yeah so we got five numbers and what we want to do is multiply each element with two and store them in the empty vector and you can get this source code by just checking out the description uh, okay so we have this vector so let's say I create a loop for I in my vector and I'll just print it out one by one so print I let's see how it goes okay so we got two four five six seven uh, these numbers right and we can obviously multiply it by two right yes yeah, so we got multiplied but we want to now store it into this empty vector right so what we can do empty vector I right and yeah I'll just check it but uh, I want you to like observe what we are doing here is empty vect and we are accessing uh, the position or index i which will be obviously 2 then 4 then 5 so it will not give us the perfect result but we can uh, deal it with many many ways right let's just see okay so now if we see our empty vac again So we got N8 for, uh, I just told you like uh, it will store 4 in the 2 position because of this 2, right? But how we can do now is uh, we can just say remove the. So we can just now remove the na values from our vector and how we're gonna do that uh, we 
just empty web and then in the square brackets we are gonna say which is not so is dot na will check if it's a, a null value or not so we are just uh, not including uh, the empty values right into our list and let's say it now okay just execute the whole code yes you got the 4 8 10 12 14 and i want you to know that in r we can do this operation just like that so this is my vector r and if i want to multiply it by 2 i can just say mult by 2 and i vect and then 2 and it will do the same thing you can see we can just do it in one line but i want you to understand like uh, the traditional approach how we can implement in this our programming right because it is a vectorized programming language so if you have any uh, question for me just text me and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching